Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the show lounge. We have an addition to the program tonight, a comedian from Prince George that you may have seen in NCOs and the Kinsmen standing for charity. Let's have a big round for Prince George. Welcome for Mike McGuire. How's everybody doing? It's really great to be here in Prince George. Which is ironic because I'm from here. Yeah, so, uh, get my bearings. And uh, is, is this blocking your view, miss? You can see me okay? Because you know that the worst thing is, is that you want to be looking at this for the next five minutes, right? Staring at my junk. When did it become junk? When I was growing up, it was a family jewels. When did my testicles become Nortel stock? That's what I want to know. Yeah. It used to be family jewels. Now it's junk. Terrible. So on the way down here, uh, I listen to CBC Radio because it's very interesting, and I've paid for it already. And I, this is a true story. Anybody uh, clap if you heard this? The United Nations Security Council has declared access to the internet a basic human right. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that great? Can't you just hear Rwanda breathing a sigh of relief? Oh good, we have internet. We don't have food, but we have internet. Imagine little, uh, little Kowasi updating his Facebook status. Fuck, I am hungry. <laughs> Daddy got taken away by the military police today. But dancing kittens. R-O-T-F-L. That's rolling on dirt floor laughing. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, your government tax dollars at work. Yeah. Now, but we're from Prince George, right? And I think that we could, and I will, I will gladly pay extra taxes if we can get a PR guy in this town, right? No? You disagree? Listen to this example. I go down to Vancouver and visit my friends, and, and they, uh, the only thing they talk about is they say, Hey, um, I heard a moose attacked a school bus. And I said, Really? That's the news you get out of Prince George, Moose School Bus? They said, well, there's the violence thing. I said, that's great. So, we need to collectively say we want to pay more taxes, but we want to hire a PR guy to handle our news. So instead of Moose attacked by School Bus, how about Wildlife Abounds in Prince George? Better, right? That's simple. Yeah, makes sense. Or instead of Instead of uh, Prince George needs country and violence, how about <clears throat> uh, Prince George donates blood? <laughs> it makes perfect sense. Because the one thing I hate is people making fun of me or where I'm from. I can do it. Man, I can do it all day long. But you, somebody else makes fun of me, I'll kick the shit out of you. So, uh, so I had to figure out, uh, just starting in comedy, and I thought... Yeah. I thought to myself, Mike, uh, you can only make fun of certain people, because obviously I can't use the N-word. Michael Richard used the N-word, he's not one. He gets blackballed. No pun intended. Chris Rock uses the N-word on a regular basis, and he goes on a world tour. So I had to look at myself and I'd say, okay, Mike, who are you? Who could you make fun of? So I'm, I'm a Canadian. Of, <laughs> that's way too easy. Uh, I'm a Canadian of, uh, of Native North American, I mean, Cree Indian, uh, Scottish, Irish, and French background. <laughs> it's a cornucopia, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I can do this shit all day long now. I can make fun of cheap, lazy, rude drunks. <laughs> And everybody says, well, Mike, uh, which one's the drunk? And I said, pick one. <laughs> I don't think any of them started a temperance movement. So yeah, I got all the, all the great characteristics, character, characteristics of all of my ancestors. I have the uh, military capability of the French. 
the cooking skills of the Scottish, the diplomacy of the Irish, and the drive to succeed of my native brethren. I'm going places. Afternoon. Yeah, so, but the one neat thing, um, I got this amazing uh, gift from being native, and that's, uh, you can take me from here, blindfold me, and anywhere, and I can find my way back home using the position of the sun, the moon, and the stars. I remember when I was four years old and my parents did this to me. And, and they were so surprised when I came home. Unfortunately, my powers don't work in that river. Gray sky confused walking eagle. Walking eagle's my native name because I'm too fat to fly. Um, where was I? Now, do you think it's ironic that Vancouver has a newspaper called The Sun? Wouldn't that be like the American newspaper called The Intelligence? The Arab world, acceptance, tolerance perhaps in the southern U.S. Who really knows? But uh, one thing, one people I don't make fun of, and I just want to have a big shout out to these people, is, uh, is new Canadians. Uh, new Canadians. And I, ironically, because I'm Indian, you guys are all white. Let's assume. Because um, you're trying to take my shit. Um, let's assume that you're all new Canadians, so uh, on behalf of all uh, Indians, welcome, welcome to Canada. Thanks for the blankets. You get that one and you still find it funny. Bastards. But no, specifically I'm talking about uh, South Asians, uh, East Indians specifically, and, and no, but I'm not going there because I'm saying I admire these people. I have a supplier in Vancouver, I shit you not, true story. The guy's name is Rupinder Singh Johal. Okay? But he goes, my name is Rupinder Singh Johal, but you can call me Rocky. <laughs> cool, right? Trying to fit in, huh? That's awesome. So, but I ask myself, would we do the same thing for this guy? Would we go to, what, hey, sir, what's your name there? James. Everybody, big round of applause for James. That's a very, very waspy name to be James. Now James, answer me this question. If you were to go to a foreign speaking city, if you were to go to say uh, Mumbai or, um, or New Delhi, or if you were to go to uh, Richmond, <laughs> would you say my name is James, but you can call me Manjeet? We need to ask ourselves all that question. And when we can say yes, then we are truly one world. So I uh, hope you enjoyed my show. If you did, my name is Mike McGuire. If you didn't, my name is Russell Peters. <laughs> Your next comedian is Guys in Touring. Touring for a couple of years. This is his second road trip. So let's give a big Prince George welcome and a round of applause for Mr. Jesse. Carol. Hey guys, keep it going for Mike McGuire. Yeah, that's more like it. Awesome. And Russell Peters too, give it up for him. He's not here, why not? Um, I came here from Vancouver, but I'm not originally from there. I grew up on, in Nanaimo, on Vancouver Island, which uh, is home to some of the crazy